So I'm up on a roof today and I'm going to show you some of the things I do when I'm not doing electronics or other fun stuff at my house. So I'm working on a rental house that my parents own and I was up on the roof to patch a couple shingles at the top and install a vent and I found a rotten spot here and I already pulled this out a little bit so I thought you know I should shoot a video of this. So what's happened is over time water got in and it rots out the plywood wherever the water gets in so you know i don't see the exact cause of it at the moment uh it could have been a flashing defect over there it could be anything it doesn't really matter this roof's probably 15 to 20 years old uh, i had a roofer come up here and try to tell me oh the roof is shot blah 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 bullshit okay this is five dollars worth of plywood and less than a bundle of shingles to fix and and that's what i wanted to show you guys um because you know there's just some unscrupulous people in the roofing business that will rip you off at the slightest chance and this just isn't that hard so first things first you need a hammer and you need a pry bar and the pry bar you just use to work under the shingles and what you want to do is you want to work the immediate area loose and then you want to work above it a couple layers. So I'm going to go up one more layer. These are not broken yet. And you just pop under here. And all you're doing is breaking the seal so that as you start to remove shingles, you don't damage any of the other shingles. And if you do, it doesn't matter. This is one more shingle to replace. So what we got to do first is get under here and see what's going on. Don't worry so much about tearing shingles up, they're cheap. And they're fairly easy. So we need to go up one more layer. And I'm at the edge of the roof, so I'm just throwing the debris down. I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it later when I'm off the roof. And again, what we gotta do is figure out how bad is the wound. Because until we know how bad the wound is, we can't fix it. So this looks worse than it is. I, I promise you it's just really not that big of a deal. Um, One more set of shingles down, and these aren't broken, so again, I'm just going to pop these loose. So the good wood's going to be about here, and it looks like we're going to have to come over a little bit more. And then this is good wood here, so we won't go any further than that. Um, but I do want to come up a little bit more. One thing I want to take a moment and point out is 
if you've got an older roof, you can do a repairability test. And a repairability test, make sure these are broken, and then just take this and bend it up to about a 45 degree angle, let it down. If it doesn't crack or break, you're good. Your roof's repairable. That's how we do it in the insurance industry, and that's what a good, reputable roofer should do. Now, if you've got a lot of repairs, it may make more sense to replace the roof, but the reality is, is you know, you might be in a situation where you just need to squeak a few more years out of it before you put a new roof on it. And that's okay. You know, so I'm not 100% sure what the root cause of this is, but we'll get to it. You know, and what I'm looking for is an exposed nail because that's most likely what caused this problem. What happens is over time, water drips comes down around a nail and it um, gets the wood wet and then rot starts in. And that's a normal process. And then at that point, it eventually just rots out if it's left long enough. Alright, so this is the edge of my good wood. I'm going to go ahead and come over to the next uh, joist. So my joist is right there, so this is where my patch is going to be. And then I need to figure out how far down to come. So I've outlined where I'm going to cut out, and I'm going to go get my saw and get busy on that. So first things first, you want to set your depth of cut to be 
about what your board is. Yeah, that actually looks a little high. So once that's set, then, uh, and I've set it at about a half an inch, what you want to do is cut up the middle. I'm sorry guys, you're going to have trouble seeing this, but you want to cut up the middle of the stud. Don't use a blade you like, because this is rough on blades. quite do it so I'm gonna lower it just a little bit because it's slick, slick, slick. All right, so let's see where this one's at. Right here, right here. So I've got a little bit more down here to cut off. It wasn't much of a stud here. Oh, shit worked for all day. stapled which is even worse gotta be one of the worst ways to attach sheathing doesn't stand up in a storm So at this point, I need to get my tape measure so I can measure this. I'll be right back. 